has to go to zoo every single day now, but when he keeps playing like this, we gotta keep talking about him. Just you gonna keep asking the same questions. So I don't even, you know, well, I'm gonna, it's gonna keep happening. So you said you're saying that he's gonna keep playing like this? Yeah, man. Like he, he does so much for us uh, on both ends of the floor. You know what I mean? So I think the, the conversation is you know, as far as and it's, it's early, but he does a lot, and he's gonna continue to you know be aggressive, continue to do more for us. Uh, I told him today, like his goal is to be defensive player of the year. You know what I mean? Like defensively. I think our, our group has a chance to be top five defense, and um, you know he has a chance to be, be defensive player of the year. So that's the goal for him individually. But offensively, he's helped us, and it's, it's my job and the rest of our guys' job is to make his job easier offensively. So just like he has our back defensively. So you know we're gonna keep talking about Big Zoo. I'll ask you a slightly different question because he has six assists tonight. How have you seen? <laughs> that's him? a career high. No, I don't, it's, not, yeah, it's not a career high, but um, yeah. It, how have you seen his decision making evolve in the short run? Patience. Role the He's been patient, man. Just even the one where I hit him in the pocket and he faked it weak side and nobody came and he dunked the ball. Like he just worked, you know, constantly, you know, behind the scenes and uh, the work is translating to the end game. So, um, you know, as a unit, you know, we got to continue to do a really good job of staying locked in. But, you know, he's a, he's the main focus of this, of this team. As far as some of the 20 turnovers tonight, this last loss to Count I saw, what did you guys do diff differently maybe to get them off the rhythm? and Differently for who? Just differently as far as getting the Warriors off their, I their game. Know. I mean, we do what we do every single night, no matter who we're playing against. So that's like, that's our, our, our backbone is defense. And, um, you know. We just gotta we gotta do a better job of, of capitalizing. But as, as far as you know what we did, we was disrupt, disruptive and playing you know Clippers basketball. So it's three straight games where y'all dominated the paint. And other teams are getting more threes. But uh, the fact by the way, we gotta shoot more threes. Y'all can shoot more threes. But how are y'all having so much success uh, on both ends of the floor? Uh, just make sure y'all blow teams out basically in the paint. That's priority, you know, get to the paint and when you get into the paint, something good is going to happen to your offense. So I think that's a huge part of my job is, is getting into the paint and creating a domino effect. But, you know, for all of us, is getting into the paint and then generate a really good shot. And once the shot comes up, if we got a chance to offer the rebound, then, then we do it. But if not, we get back in transition, uh, set up our half court defense and, and do it again and do it again for a full quarter game and we'll live with the results. But. You know, it's the, we go double digits, they go on a run, which we expect. It's a game of, it's a game of runs. We're, we're on the road. Keep our composure and close the game. James, you guys have won two of your three games, close games. What does it say about this team being able to win these games like this? Um, there's going to be a lot of those this year. <laughs> you know, you know, we don't want them to be. We want to blow teams out. But, you know, this is the NBA. It's the best sport in the world, you know. So we, it's, it's a lot of talent in this league. And, you know, just finding ways when, when it's fourth quarter and it's under two minutes or wherever the case may be, we find ways to continue to execute, uh, get up a good shot, and then, you know, set our defense up. So the more times we can do that, the, the better we'll give ourselves a chance of winning games. Yeah. Yeah. You guys finish opening night a little bit better. You guys are probably 3 and 0. It will like, be 3 and 0. Yeah. Do you feel like you guys are surprising people? I don't know. Who cares? We focus on what's, what we got, go, got going on in this locker room, you know, and, and our organization. Like, that's not our job to be worried about what we're people and trying to surprise the people. Our job is to go out there, play hard for each other, play well, and try to win games with each other. You guys are, you know, talk about it later. James, after. On a personal note, <coughs> language you've used over the years a ton is that you want to play basketball at the highest level mm -hmm. and compete every night. Yep. So to have done that three times in three opportunities, how does it feel to you? Uh, it feels really good, you know. Uh, it feels like, like in my in my comfort zone, you know, and and so, you know, obviously the Suns game at home is one that we can't take back that we, we feel like we should have won. But other than that, I think you know my natural, you know, leadership and, and playmaking role, and scoring role, and all everything else is, is is you know where I feel the most comfortable. And um, you know, so I just got to continue to lead this team and do, do the things necessary. Sometimes it's going to be scoring thirty or forty. Sometimes it's going to be getting fifteen, sixteen assists. So whatever whatever the defense gives me that night, then that's what I'm going to do. And the ultimate goal is to win, win, win the game. So I'm just happy and excited about the guys that we have in this locker room. And like T. T Lou said after the game, like, you know, we stick with it. You know, like, it's, it's going to be somebody's night every single night. And I think the guys in here in, here in this locker room are, ha are genuinely happy for each other. And that carries a long way. That's like, you know, that, that gets you maybe five or six, seven more wins a year that, you know, that you don't really, you don't really get. So 
Um, you know, obviously it's, it's three games in, but you know, I like the, the way we're going. After the Hawaii game, you and Steph just kind of reflected on Instagram, just being year 16 and all the battles mm -hmm. that you guys have had. Just what comes to mind when you think back on the 09 class and all the battles that you and Steph had? Happy fast. It happened fast, but I think just the prime of like, you know, that Rocket situation going up against, you know, that dynasty was just like, it was like real, you know, it was something to, look, to really look back on. And I, I haven't, you know, sat back and, you know, really thought about it just because of, you know, I'm still trying to, you know, accomplish things, but, you know, I have to really go up against a real dynasty, you know what I mean? And, and you know, just it's, it's special, you know, and, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm overly excited and proud of what he was accomplished in his career. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be, it's one of those things, stories we can talk about when we get older and retire. Thank you. Thank you.